Hello everyone. Today I will be showing you how to solve the 2x2 two two Rubik's Cube. This is the first video of my new series where I explain how to solve different Rubik's Cubes. So yeah, this is going to be our first video where I will teach you how to solve a 2x2. Two two. This is the way that I learned it, so I'm going to try and make it as simple as possible. So um let's start so the two by two first of all has three different steps and they're very easy all of them are very easy so right, let me scramble this real quick okay so now that we have officially scrambled it what we're going to want to do is the first thing is find uh, a white piece determine what's going to be our top so this one i see has a white piece and this is, has white, orange, and blue, as we can see. So, now we need to find another piece that is either white or blue with it, or white and orange. So, let's look around the cube. No. No, this is... Okay. So, we see that this one is white, orange, and green. So, we need to put this one right up top here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to make this spot go right below where it needs to go so this is here now we're going to hold it like this and do front then move it here and now just move it back like this front counterclockwise so now as you can see we have this beautiful arc or no not arc yet but um, now we're going to find another one, another one which has white, so we need to either find which one has white or blue, or white and green, so you can see here I found this one has white, red, and green, so we're going to flip, make it go down to the bottom layer, and then we see that this one needs to go up here, right, so we are going to do... This one, this is a rare case. Well, it's not actually rare, but um, this is a case where white is on the bottom. And what you're going to do when it's like that is you're going to flip it down and then spin this two times. And now we ruined this, right? So now we're going to move it back up. But now when we move this to go back here, now there the difference is that previously white was here, but now it is here. So now that we're holding it like this, we are going to do the move front. And now move this here. The bottom layer and now up again. So now we have the what I call the arc. It looks like this. And now this uh, is the case where we have only one piece left. I don't know why, but um, most beginners find this the hardest piece, but I don't think it is. So we find this piece, it is here, and it, so we move it to where it needs to go. And we see, does it correspond? Here's blue, here's red, and then this one is blue and red. So yes, and now we're going to do front counterclockwise. And now this just goes together like this. So now we have the first layer done. Now, um, you may be wondering... Like this, it, it's like this, right? So it may be at different times when you're solving it. It may be you may either need to do front counterclockwise, so like this, front counterclockwise, which is what we need to do in this case. Or you may need to do front like this. And this is just another way of doing it, but it's... It's going to be a slower way, and you don't even need to learn this because this is just, yeah, I, I don't even know how to solve it from here, but um, that was the point, but here you can see where you're just, this is the part where you're going to need to figure out probably. Here you need to do front counterclockwise on the last one as we did, and now we have this done. So... Now, we are going to do the next thing, the second step. Now, the second step, we're going to 
flip the cube. So now this is on the bottom and now this is on the top. And you see this one is unsolved. Now what you're going to notice is that if you try to, you know, solve the blue side, it's not going to work because even if you will try, then white is going to break apart and that's just not the correct way to do it. So, okay. What we are going to do, though, is... So, you can freely move this layer around and this one without breaking anything. But now we're going to turn this. We need to basically make one of these edges apply. Now, what I mean by apply is... Let me show you an example. You see this one? This one has orange and green, and this one has orange and green, too. So, this one applies. Now, they don't have to be oriented correctly, meaning that yellow can be here and green can be here, but it will still count because they will be still orange and green, But and this will still have orange and green. No matter where orange and green are, it will still have orange and green. So we need to, let's, this one, no, because this one has green and red. This one has blue and orange. Now, this one, no, this one also doesn't. And this one also doesn't, so... You need to turn it to see when only either all of them, that means you skip this step, or only one of them are correct. So, you see here, you have this one correct. This is the only one correct. And if you have the variant where, oh, let, let's say none of them are, are correct. You flipped through and none of them are correct. You've checked everything now, what you're going to do is you're just going to hold any piece, any random piece, it doesn't matter which one, on the right, right here. So, this would be the one that I would do, and then do this move. But since I have, do the move that I'm about to show you until you have one of them correctly, until one of these is correct, one of these pieces is correct. And you're, you're going to have to, like, do this move and then flip it around to see if anything if one of them, only one of them, remember, it's only one of them is correct. And then if not, just do it again. It's a different unsolved piece. And then it should work after you do it a few times. That's basically the best you can do here. But um, here I have one of these solved correctly. And what you're going to do is you're going to hold it on the right and do the smooth. Up, right, up counterclockwise, and the left side up and now you're going to do the same thing but up down and up counterclockwise down so now you can see that we have solved all of these now what i mean is there aren't correctly oriented but there's yellow orange and green this one is this one is orange and blue orange and blue and this one also has orange and blue this one has blue and red this one also has blue and red this one has uh, green, uh, green and red, and this one also has green and red. So all of these are correct now. Now, it's probably going to happen to you where, where what happens is you're just going to if if none of them, if only one of them still remains the same, and these aren't correct, then you're just going to hold it as the same way and do the same algorithm, the completely same algorithm that I showed you earlier. Um, I will have it up on the screen, like all my other algorithms that I'll do in this video. But, yes, um, here's the algorithm up on the screen again. And, um, well, you're just going to do that again, and then all of these should be correctly oriented, or I guess. Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to make you see, for example, this, um, needs to go with um this so yellow needs to be on the bottom right yellow needs to be on the bottom this yellow needs to be on the bottom and this yellow needs to be on the bottom we have already one of them solved but uh what you're going to do is now turn to one of the sides the for example i'm going to turn to the blue side like this and now to put this one into here you're going to do the same algorithm the same algorithm that we did for when in the first step, if you remember this, this was on the bottom, and we needed to put it here. 
and that algorithm is right, up, right, down, and up counterclockwise. And then you're going to do that until this one, you see this one is correctly solved. Now, you're going to see this is going to break apart the white, but that is okay. Now, um, instead of moving, rotating your cube, that isn't going to work. You're just going to move the next one up here and do this, the same move again. And now, you're going to move this one here, the last one, this one is green, red. Yes, this one is correct. Now look what's going to happen. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So, and we have, congratulations, we have officially solved the 2 by 2 or you learn how to solve the 2 by 2 Um. So this is how you solve a two by two. Also, uh, we're not done yet. In the last step, I wanna explain something. In the last step, why you don't want to rotate the cube instead of just turning it, like rotating it like that. You don't want to do that because then it will mess up what you're doing here because right, you, this eventually became normal after you did it a few times. And this would, this, uh, rotating it would mess up the, the thing that it was doing here, solving it back after we messed it up. And also in the last step, you may get a case. So if you notice, we need to do this move six times for it to solve again. And what may happen is if this yellow would be here, on this side at the front, then this would take you four moves to do it, four times to do this algorithm. But then if it's on the right, then it would take you only two times. So the thing is that if it takes you more than six times, let's say, for example, you have only two of them that are just solved, and then this one is on the front and this one is on the front, so it's going to take you eight times, and this is going to be unsolved. In this case, you're just going to do, you're going to act like this yellow is your white, and start doing the second step on the white, and then just do what we did, solve these corners, and then do, if you do this algorithm this time on these pieces, then it should work. These pieces will be oriented correctly. So there will be either 12 or 6 or 18 times, which I doubt is going to happen. I doubt 18 is going to happen, but... So yes, you're, you're just going to do redo the same thing, but on the white, and then it should work. So you're basically acting like this yellow up here is your white if that happens. So this is how to solve a 2 by 2 um, I hope you uh, enjoyed this video and you learned how to solve the 2x2. Two two. I tried to make this as detailed as possible. So if you enjoyed it, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this kind. And yeah, goodbye everyone and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.